We are come to mathematics with AMS, grade 12, DBE 2022, final paper 1, question 8. <coughs> Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, question 8, the second question in calculus. So the graph of y equals to the derivative of x equals to mx squared plus nx plus k is drawn. Of course, the derivative of a cubic graph will be a, a quadratic equation or a parabola. Therefore, the graph looks like a parabola. So the graph passes to the point P, which is negative a third and zero, Q, which is one and zero, and R, which is zero and one. Determine the values of m, m, and k. It is further given that if the f of x is minus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 2, determine the coordinates of the turning points of f. Draw the graph of f. Indicate to your graph the coordinates of the turning points and the intercepts with the axis. Points E and W are two variable points on the derivative and are on the same horizontal line. H is a tangent to the derivative at E. G is a tangent to the derivative of f and w. H and G intersect at D, A and B. Write down the value of A and secondly, determine the values of B for which H and G will be no longer be a tangent to the derivative of f. Right, so let's look at 8.1. Determine the values of m, m and k. So, of course, that is part of the quadratic equation, which is the, the derivative. And, of course, if the two x intercepts are given, we use the method m equals, or you can use, say, a or m, x plus a third, which is the opposite of minus a third, and x minus one, which is the opposite of plus one. Once you've done that, then you substitute point R into the equation, x0 and y1, to find the value of m. Then you reintroduce m minus 3 into the equation, and you remove all your brackets, and you get your answer, negative 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. So therefore, n is 2, and k is 1. Right, so it is further given that... The f of s is minus x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 2. Remember, that's not the formula of the cubic function. So you must determine the coordinates of the turning point. Remember, to find turning point, we normally differentiate the equation if you use the grade 12 method. Once you've done the derivative, you let the derivative be 0. And of course, you get your x value. But x is minus 1 third. We know it already. So you just put minus 1 third into the original equation and you get the corresponding y value which is 49 over 27 or 1,81 so there you are the turning point is minus a third or 49 over 27 then 8.22 now you must draw the graph of f indicate on your graph the coordinates of the turning points and the intercepts of the axis so you look at the, uh, the solution at 8.22 then of course you need to first factorize so my suggestion is first get rid of the negative in front. Now there's different ways of factorizing this uh, cubic graph. You can use whatever method works for you. Then you get x minus 2 as the first bracket. And you get minus x squared minus s minus 1 as another bracket. So please go and do your research and see whatever methods you can use to factorize. Then you get x2 and the second bracket gives you no solution. Then look at the sketch so you can draw your graph there's only one x intercept so there you are it's a graph with a negative a value so it is a function that behaves in that manner 8.3 points e and w are two variable points on the derivative and are on the same horizontal line so take note of that so h is the tangent to the derivative at e G is a tangent to the derivative at W, and H and G intersect at DNA. So you must write down the value of A. So the best method and easy way to do it is to find the derivative first, which is minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then you get your second derivative, which is minus 6x plus 2. Let it be equals to 0, and therefore you get A equals to 1 third. Determine the values of B for which H and G will no longer be tangents to the derivative, where B will have to be less than four thirds, not to be a tangent. 
Then this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with Amps. Don't forget to give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.